Stick to the Stick Man has a lot of mysteries in it. There are a number of different characters, all of them sort of have their stories, but some often can lead to secret units or special abilities. We have no idea what the PhD does, but this is the character that's really getting me curious lately. It's called an investigative reporter, and look at that. He's holding his shirt open, and it looks like he's about to rip it off. Is this Superman? Is it Spider-Man? Which superhero is this one based off of? Look at its passive ability, further investigation. That is what we need to do right now to find out just what secret superhero is this. Now, to break out, I have to use my Y ability. Okay, I just created something called a straw man and it's really kind of creepy, but it's distracting the entire enemy team. Now, I take a picture, wait a minute, and throw it? Like a ninja star? Okay, that's, that's very strange. Ow! <laughs> he shot me in the neck with a dart and I ran right into the filing cabinets. Oh God, I think that's a boss unit. And I missed. And I got two, three hit points of damage right there? This is not going well. I think this is one of those characters that is very, very difficult at the beginning, but then he can level up to incredible powers. All right, get distracted by the straw man who's already dead. Oh my gosh. I'm supposed to throw these like ninja stars. I'm almost dead. Get the straw man, please. Finally, got somebody. All right, I've got to choose an ability. I'm thinking, let's re-roll. Let's re-roll. Uh, we've got to choose one now. We're going to go with the force shove. Which just worked. Laser vision is very Superman-esque, but I don't know if we're Superman or Spider-Man. Uh, we're going to go with laser vision. All right, this is working a lot better. All right, we're gonna gather a lot of XP while hopefully that guy was distracted. Okay, I guess he's not. We're gonna create a gun. What's with the bench up in the roof? Do you see that? Okay, let's go with an exoskeleton because we need to be able to survive a lot of damage. Now we can levitate. We can also shove projectiles away. I think deflection is a much needed upgrade for us. Now we're not even out of the first room and we're already down to 30% of our health. This is not going very well, but it's better than that guy who just got lasered in the face. Now we do have the straw man ability and I feel like that's good when there are giant crowds, which I think we should expect momentarily. No. Oh yeah, I've got like projectile deflection right now. Yeah, everybody goes for my dummy. Oh, I got darted. Oh God, I need better weaponry. I need to upgrade. Okay, we could go force shove level two, but I'm tempted to see if we can't get laser eyes level two. Yes, okay, good. Laser vision level two, but between laser vision and a strong exoskeleton, look at the Polaroids. They, they fire like ninja stars, but they kind of can seek around barriers. We'll go gun creation level two. So now we're firing two shots at a time. And let's go mind attack. All right, this guy's just kind of hiding out. Distract them and run. There are way too many. Oh, well integrated. Increase one max, nope. Improve your vision, I think that's a yes, given the fact, okay, that carrot also had an S on it. Was that like a hint towards Superman? I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm very, I'm very curious about this whole thing. Oh man, we'll go for slap. We're kind of moving away from Superman and more towards the Jedi again. But we are starting to dominate, so it may have taken us a while, but if we could heal ourselves some way and increase the exoskeleton strength, our ability to endure pain. Oh God, run. I almost got wrecked. Now, unfortunately, the boss guy does not go after my straw man, he still goes after me. And we only have three health. I don't think we could survive a lightning bolt. I really don't. Go for shove level two or reroll. Exoskeleton level two. All right, laser vision level three is obviously the choice. Cause that is how we're doing most of our damage right now, as you can see, we just eliminated the boss. 
Still at three health though. I can't find a neural link or an upgrade or any ability to heal myself except right here. I'm kind of tempted to go more rerolls. I know. I feel like with our exoskeleton and our super laser eyes, we're starting to get very powerful. Plus, rerolls could help me in the future gather more health. <laughs> I feel like I'm just like camping and holding a choke point. I mean, that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I can't even see them. Just like, I feel like Darth Vader in that hallway scene in Rogue One, just with Superman laser eyes. All right, let's get these upgrade coins. Yeah, I do have to be careful. I do have to be mindful of the fact that I can't endure a lot of melee combat. So pain amplification. Increase all damage, reduce any damage. Yeah, let's reduce damage. Increasing our vision with that little carrot upgrade was huge. That has to be an upgrade, right? Yeah, okay, so we've got five rerolls now. So what we're gonna be looking for is laser eyes. Oh no. Oh, burning vision level one. That's what we wanted. Okay, good. Now we do incredible damage and then it's got kind of like a residual effect because we light the guys on fire. So if they survive our laser blast, they'll suffer more damage. Yeah, see that guy? He's got fire on his head. He's falling over. He's not having a good time. But we're having a good time. Oh my gosh, and the distraction. Yeah, if we can survive... That's the key. You just gotta survive like the first two rooms with this guy. There's always been in, in, in the other modes of Stick It to the Stick Man, like a character that's very powerful, but it takes a while to build up to it and you're very vulnerable in the early stages. Oh God, that's a, ooh. I think I just blocked a shot with my exoskeleton. Ooh, I'm down on one health. This is not good. I need, something with healing ignore one hit and electrocute three co-workers that sounds good oh my gosh no okay okay oh oh my gosh i blocked the door using straw men i didn't know that was an ability until right now and it's amazing all right so we're doing pretty good in this run. I just defeated the boss. We have 10 health. We have a very, very strongly upgraded exoskeleton. And now we have fire laser eyes. I'm gonna choose extra rerolls because we're not on one health. And we saw what happens when I get a little bit overconfident. But this build does have potential. We just entered the server room, which is great. I was gonna try to block the door using a straw man because I just realized that's an ability, which is incredible. So let's see if we can't do that right there. I blocked one. Look, they can't get in the door at the bottom, or at least it takes them a while to- Oh god, he's got a tranquilizer gun. Fire lasers is amazing. If only fire spread from one unit to another. There's like a guy on my back and I can't shoot him with my lasers. Alright, here we go. Demotional vampire, heal through gaining XP, deflection is good. I think we need anything that heals us. Now, is it just gaining XP or is it leveling up? Okay, it's definitely leveling up, not getting XP because we just got a lot of it. We'll take the rerolls because we've got them. Burning vision level two. I'm not sure I've gotten that. This is just one of those like infinitely replayable games. Like, and we're still in such early stages. I cannot wait. Oh my God, that's a lot of bullets. All right, we're distracting the enemy with my dummies and hitting them with the heat lasers. Ow. Exoskeleton protected me there. Now, can I get XP from fighting dummies? Oh my gosh, no way. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Oh my goodness. I didn't realize how powerful this was. It'll take a while but I should be able to level up myself just like that. And now we have burning vision level three. I'm gonna try this out. It does take a long time. This is nuts. I don't think I've ever had heat vision level three. Ow, he broke my exoskeleton. Okay, okay, this is nuts. I don't like it, I don't like it. Run! 
Run, 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 run. Oh god, no, no, no. Dang it! Well, uh, this doesn't look very good, does it? I wonder if I can bait the big guy over here by putting a straw man on this side. Go get him! Nope. Okay, you're coming after me. Instead of my straw man. Got it. That's cool. It's really great, man. There we go. Now it works. But he didn't get in the air vent. And then he just knocks himself out in the wall. All right, I've got five of them out. That should be enough to level up, right? All right, I've already got laser level three and I'm like still in the first kind of main room. We're learning our lessons. I've spent like five minutes grinding. Now, no matter how greedy I get, I need to get something that gives me more health. So the gun automatically kills them. Like as soon as I spawn them in, check this out. <laughs> I already have overkill rockets if I want it, but I think we need to increase our damage resistance. Ah, rockets, man. Oh my gosh, I just can't stop it. Block that door. Now it'll make this a lot more manageable. Oh. Well, we found a really, really good exploit. I think it's an exploit, but this character has to be one of the hardest that I have encountered. If you guys want to see me give it another go, pull the trigger on the like button and let me know, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. I'm going to go cry myself to sleep.